Okay gang, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, can't sleep, so I gotta make a recording of what occurred here tonight. This is a dual chart. In black, it shows the voltage in the battery in the bottom end, high impedance range, after a discharge to 1 volt. I then charge the battery at a constant current rate of 2 ampere hours. Uh, change that at a constant rate of 2 amps. I did this on a totalizer that showed the amount of energy going into the battery until I had put the equivalent of 2 ampere hours of energy into the battery. And I kept the, uh, I did this so the voltage would not go out of the high impedance arena of this battery. And I cut it off at about 10.4, 10.5 volts. But I'd put in exactly 2.0 ampere hours of energy. Then I discharged the same battery at a 2 amp hour rate and then totalized the amount of ampere hours of energy that I got out of the battery and this is where it became rather bizarre. Immediately the battery started falling down. Now you can, I'll back out where you can see the whole curve. You see that long flat area there? If we come in on it, that is about th the 3 volt area in this battery went on forever for about six hours and finally it did the classical curve and died whoops computer timed out here it uh, died but in doing so i had removed 10.676 ampere hours of energy from this battery that i'd only put two ampere hours of energy in uh, I do not know if this is a special case where the pickle battery is a primary cell or we're looking at some other phenomena here. Uh, if it is a primary cell, it's doing a heck of a job generating energy after we have tickled it into excitation with this uh, short burst charge here. This, I believe, took about 15 to 20 minutes. I don't remember exactly how long it took. I didn't measure that time because when I did this, the chart was spread out and I could see the charge curve very clearly. But when we added them together, we get this long charge. I set this in motion several hours ago. My computer woke me up in the middle of the night. First, I didn't believe the numbers. But anyway, I want to show you this. Uh, there will be many, for, many more times of verifying this, but uh, that's the numbers. I'll let you make your own conclusions. But I put a discrete amount of energy into this pickle battery, and I got a discrete amount of energy out of this pickle battery at some voltages that make, uh, make no sense. I have a hunch Mr. Bedini has been seeing the same effect with the lead acid batteries, but down at these levels, Sulfation has been given in fits for years. The pickle battery doesn't have the sulfation problem and the results become much more clear when you uh, uh, use this particular battery electrolyte system. So that's the first whack at it. Uh, if these numbers are all wrong, I've eaten crow before. Uh, We'll do it again and again and again and again. It takes time, but uh, let's see what happens here. This has been from the world's smallest lab at 3.30 in the morning. Uh, K4ZEP, and I'm clear. I'm going to up upload this. Good night.